When I was a kid, there wasn't a lot of spare money in our house to spend on fancy ingredients, but Mum was brilliant at what she did, let me tell you. So we had really tasty, hearty food, great cakes, amazing puddings, all made with the freshest ingredients. That's right, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road, come. We're cooking the kind of food Mum always dished up. Starting with a family favourite, steamed date pudding with a glorious butterscotch sauce. They weren't called desserts in those days, were they? No, it was puddings, yeah. Puddings. Now, I'm going to sieve the flour. Would you... I'll chop here, shall I? Chop those dates, please. That was a favourite, wasn't it? Amazing. Sew it in. OK. But it was almost like an old-fashioned dessert, wasn't yes. it, steamed? And everything was sort of steamed. You had jam, roly-poly. Mm-hmm. So the zest of the orange makes that really nice and fragrant and sort of helps cut that richness of the suet. OK. Yeah. Brown sugar in. This is such an easy recipe. It yeah. is. Looks fantastic on the table. And then treacle. Treacle in. Oh, look at that. There's something quite magical about a spoonful of treacle. Can you add them in there, please? Thank you. We will do. And crack an egg. Lightly whisk it and mix that into the milk. If I pour in the egg and the milk, would you give that a little mix-up, please? Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Nice and slow. <laughs> Don't go too fast. You see, I always used to think that it was an old-fashioned dessert, steamed pudding. Do you ever remember me tumbling around your knees trying to sort of get in there? Yeah, so you like to lick the bowl, didn't you? All the time. Yeah. Now, lightly grease. Mold. You're always willing to help, mm -hmm. but not with washing up. Some things never change. I think I was allergic to the soap. That was your excuse. Kids will enjoy this tonight, won't they? Yeah, uh, delicious. Paper. That goes on. So the secret behind the parchment paper is to keep that nice and tight. Tight, yep. Yeah. There we are. Good. Now, mm. oh. <laughs> hey, wash my hand. Come <laughs> on. Tightly cover with foil and place in a pan of water and let it steam for around two hours with a lid on. Are you going to wash up, Gord? <laughs> One more place. Eh? <laughs> Just for once, wash up. <laughs> Mr. Rem. Oh, dear goodness. <laughs> you like that smash? Mum, you handed it to me and you dropped it. Come on. I didn't drop Whilst it. Whilst Mum forces me to break the habit of a lifetime. Dear, oh dear. That's the thought of you washing up. It does that to you. Here's how to make an amazing butterscotch sauce to serve with the pudding. Add butter into a pan, brown sugar, golden syrup, and a pinch of salt and vanilla seeds. Melt and combine over a medium heat. Stir in the cream and simmer until thickened. That's the taste of my childhood in a jug right there. And it will keep in the fridge for a week. Now for the main course, my all-time favourite, shepherd's pie. What's the secret behind a really good shepherd's pie? I would think the vegetables you use and browning in it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use leeks and onions, and then start browning off the mint. You know, no colour, no flavour. I've never forgotten that, you know that? Yep. So... Got to have colour. Got to have colour. Otherwise, it puts that grey tinge on the shepherd's pie that looks greasy and yeah. cheap and nasty. We don't want that, do we? And I know you don't do cheap and nasty. Let me clear your peelings now. Uh, All right, thank you very much. There's no nails in there now, is there? No. <laughs> don't be <laughs> cheeky. I remember your amazing shepherd's pie in that lovely little restaurant you used to work in, in Sheep Street in yeah. Stratford Haven. So you never got food sent back? No. Ma. Sometimes they complained that there wasn't Ma. enough. Come on. No, I'm telling you. You, <laughs> you never, ever got a complaint? No. How long did you work at that restaurant for? Six years. Six years. Hello, Dad and Nan. Oh, hello, hello Tilly. Tilly. What are you cooking? I'm going to make, OK, a sort of modern version of Nanny's shepherd's pie. Dad, shouldn't Nanny be doing the cooking because she's the better cook? Excuse me. Right? 
Mum, would you, would you top our, uh, our onion, please, darling? Yeah. Oh, gosh, your eyes are going to water. Um, oh, no. Daddy, what's in this pot? <laughs> Sorry? What's in this pot? In there, we've got a delicious steamed treacle and date pudding. That's just separate. I've got a joke for you. Um, how do skeletons call their friends? How do skeletons call their friends? I'm not too sure. On the skeleton. On the skeleton. Come on. And, OK, so two cats are in a race. One is called one, two, three, and the other is called under toi. Who won? Well, don't know what depends who's the fastest cat. One, two, three goes under toi, cat sank. <laughs> oh, goodness oh, me. <laughs> Tell why don't you make a nice cup of tea for Nanny? Do you want me to disappear? <laughs> Thank you, darling. Bye. So I give that a little fry off. OK. Mm -hmm. Nice. Poor Tilly's jokes. They get worse. Oh, she's seen you having a bit of fun. Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce. That's going to give that really nice spicy seasoning. Ouch. Thank you. Oh, that's hot. You okay? Yeah. Tomato puree in. You could put a tin of tomatoes in this if you wanted to. You could, yeah. Put that mince back in there once it's drained. I'm just going to put a little touch. I know you'll go crazy at this. A little touch of red wine. I wouldn't put that in. Brilliant. <laughs> but why the red wine? Well, because I'm going to make it nice and rich. OK. <laughs> Reduce the red wine down. Yeah. And then start covering your mince with your stock. Now I'm going to bring it up to the ball. OK. And then get some yeah. fresh rosemary. OK. Like a little taste? Yes, please. Mm. Is it hot? It's a little bit hot. Be careful. Oh, I don't like the way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Right. As it cooks out, the wine and the alcohol will disappear. It will be delicious. Trust me. Oh now, God. spring onions will chop up, yeah. and that's going to go through the mashed potatoes. Mashed it's going to sit potatoes. on top that's of that nice, nice. I like that. savoury, yeah. delicious mince that's laced with all that red wine. Nice. So spring onions into there, please, Mum. Okay. And I'm going to drain off the potatoes. Hi, Dad. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hello. Oh, hi, Jack. Hi, Holly. Hi, Holly. Hello. Hello, Jack. Have a nice day at school. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we're going to dry out those potatoes and then mash them. Nice. Oh, can I mash them? Uh, would you? Okay. Um, Holly, slice a little knob of butter in there for Jack, please. Yeah. So what was the restaurant you worked at then? Were you a chef? Cook. <laughs> <laughs> I love the diplomacy. <laughs> were you a chef? I was a cook. Mm -hmm. Nanny, did you teach exactly that? Not really. <laughs> you used to help me when I was little. Right. Like you kids do. Now. Potatoes. These are nice and fluffy, aren't they? Aren't they? And do you know what, Mum? Look, delicious mashed potatoes. Yeah. With no lumps in there. <laughs> hey, what are you getting at? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's great having you back in the kitchen, Mummy. Not. Yeah. Huh? Seriously. Brings back good memories. No. Yeah. Just. Why would you do that, Dad? I just, just want to fork it to get it nice and spiky. So I want that nice crispy topping, and then. Lightly grate that cheddar cheese on top. And that goes in the oven, literally 20 minutes, 180. 20 minutes. Jack, yes. can you open the door, please, man? That looks lovely. Doesn't it? Yeah. Even though you said you didn't like it earlier. OK. <laughs> Back in the day, Mum's meals all came with two veg. And this is no different, but with a modern twist. Braised peas and carrots with a fantastic homemade mint butter. Shepherd's pie, glazed on top. That looks lovely, doesn't it? Doesn't it? it? And then the carrots. Oh, I see. Did carrots. That's why I didn't put carrots in. Let's put them on the side. I see. Last chop before serving, pour that gorgeous butterscotch sauce over the pudding. <laughs> huh? I'll take one at a time. That smells incredible. This is my ultimate childhood dinner. Shepherd's pie with crispy cheese champ topping, sweet buttery peas and carrots. And a steamed date pudding dripping in butterscotch sauce. All that's missing? Other family. Megan, Jack, Tilly, Holly. Hello. Yes, now take a seat. Like Pass plates over, guys. So, Nan, is this your recipe? This is Nan's no. recipe, but modernised. Mum, how is that? Okay. It's very nice, but I like can't it? taste the wine. No, that's right. So give it a chance to cook out, Nanny. Wow, that's amazing. Do you like it, Tills? Yeah, Nan, you did a Thank good you. job. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Nanny's recipe like job. revamped. Well, I have I think we got a new chef in the kitchen. One thing so delicious. Yeah. Mm. On that note, cheers to Nanny. Nanny, cheers. thank you for coming. Cheers. Good to see you. Yeah. You're brilliant, by the way. He still didn't do the washing up. Oh, oh. 
Next time, my ultimate food for friends. I can't wait to dive in. Home-cooked dishes so simple, they're child's play. Ah! <laughs> I love chickpeas, because they're like peas from chicks. <laughs>